Ubuntu. I first heard the word in a study group. Loosely translated, it means I exist because you exist. Carter G. Woodson could not exist without Huntington, West Virginia, and Huntington couldn't exist without Woodson. Barbara Jean Bailey and Taswell Dillard Franklin. My mother and father grew up in Huntington. My father graduated from Marshall University, home of the Thundering Herd. My mother graduated from Huntington High, but she would have preferred graduating from Frederick Douglass High School, the same school Dr. Woodson graduated from and later served as principal. Douglas High was Huntington's high school for African Americans. His tenure wasn't long, but his impact spans generations. I first became acquainted with Woodson through his groundbreaking work, The Miseducation of the Negro. One of the reasons I loved the book so much was because Huntington was mentioned throughout, and I knew Huntington. That's where my people are from, so it made his phenomenal work tangible. I was the only member of my family born in Ohio, so growing up, I would get to know Huntington more. As a child, Huntington was magical. The air was pure, the atmosphere seemed less tense, and everyone was nice and hospitable. My father would leave his car door unlocked and windows rolled down no matter where we went, something he would never do in Youngstown. As I got older, my mother and father would reveal their stories about life in Huntington. My mother, the firebrand, would tell me about the civil rights movement in Huntington. She would tell me about the protests, demonstrations, and sit-ins she participated in, about protesting the local diner that only served African Americans at the back door, about demonstrating against the segregationist policies of all the institutions in Huntington while my grandmother stood across the street and prayed for her protection. My father would tell me about applying for work at a new industrial plant in Huntington. After submitting an application, he went to use the restroom. As he was exiting the plant, he looked into a trash can and saw his application inside. He returned the next day and filled out another application. He did this repeatedly until they finally hired him. Call me crazy. But I like to think that the work Woodson did at Douglas High as principal laid the groundwork for my father's resilience and my mother's activism. So it was waiting for them like a ripe fruit ready for plucking when they came of age. And the fruit they consumed would nurture future generations.